I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of uh, uh, Speed Medical Institute to Dr. Argadeep Bose for securing rank number two in all the Institute of Medical Sciences in the specialty of DM Cardiology and CML rank of rank number three in any SS session 2022. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, it's uh, really great and fascinating to meet you again uh, with the wonderful ranks. And uh, I think last time in the NEET, uh, can we know what you did after your uh, results and where you joined? Can you tell us something about it? Uh, yes, sir. So I'll start a little back before also. Like in the last INISS also, I had got a rank of 12, not India rank of 12. So at that time also, I had the same doubt whether I should join or whether I should work further to actually get my dream seat. So at that time also, I let go of the seat. Then in NEET SS, I got a rank of 23. And uh, as it happens, like there was a lot of parental pressure also, peer pressure also, that you have got such a good rank, you should go ahead and take a seat. And so I went ahead with the counseling process and I got allotted a seat in one of the most prestigious institutes of our country. I, in fact, uh, almost went ahead and joined the institute. I remember I went to the institute, I paid all the fees and everything. But then just something kept me. I stood in front of the institute and I thought that this is not my dream. So, and I, it will be really unfair for me to settle for what is not my dream. So, I just came back from there. I did not join. I so, you came paid back. the fees, you joined yes. DM Cardiology. Yes, sir. And, and then, uh, you, then I gave a letter that no, I'll not join. And I came back. So, uh, so last in uh, yes, uh, session, Yes, uh, you got rank number 12, you said. Yes, sir. What happened at the time for DM Cardiology? You didn't get there. I was targeting primarily uh, AIMS PGI on Jipmer. Where, so, you got, where you got the time? I got in uh, Sri Chitra Institute. So, I was uh, yeah. like, I thought that if I put in more hard work, more effort, I'll definitely get what I, uh, where I want, sit where I want. So, that's why I was like, okay, I'll try six months more because it obviously like I felt it would be fair to give myself a second chance, second opportunity to improve upon what I have done so far. So that is why I let go of the seat at that time. So of the three institute, where you are aiming at, your eyes at AIMS <laughs> or PJ or Jifmar? Uh, now, sir, it's a little bit of confusion because I have done my MD from uh, PJ Chandigarh. So I obviously have that feeling that uh, I want to continue here. But then obviously, uh, Ames Delhi is also there. So I think I have get to decide between these two institutes right now. So probably in a day or two, I'll decide and finalize. See, <laughs> phenomenal, eh? phenomenal. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> getting in, in ESS cardiology, getting in neat SS cardiology, and again coming back to NESS and to yes, choose sir. among the institute and still not able to choose. <laughs> yes, uh, it's a different kind of confusion right now. <laughs> That's how the confidence level has to be. The, yes. the self, self-confidence is yes, the sir. most important part of success. It is yes, not sir. what exam gives. It is not someone gives. It is that what you want to take. Mm-hmm. That's very important. Standing example. Dr. Agadir Bose is a standing example for that. I used to quote this in the many exa- many videos and many classes. Yes, sir. But it is not all stories. People say, sir, this is all stories, sir. He'll say, sir, how it can happen, sir? He got already one seat and I'll, then he will leave one and he will leave one. You're making up a story. No, no, I'm not making up a story. Reality. <laughs> yes. So yes. Reality. <laughs> and, um, and as you are going through all this process, see, you are in a firing range. You are well within the target. You know what you're playing with and you know yes. what to be done. So you know the entire system and you know how the exam is all about, what is required for the exam, everything you know. So you are, you are there in the very close inner circle. Yes, sir. In this time, what, what are your preparations? I mean, did you prepare? Uh, uh, how did you revise? What did you do? Yes, sir. So, actually, uh, before the last NESS, I had completely gone through the entire speed uh, in the ca- cardiology curriculum, all the Brownwald based videos and all the MCQs and everything. And I had made very good notes out of the videos. So, during these last six months, my primary target was to repeatedly revise those notes. Also, like uh, the new edition of Gronwald had just come in December. So, my target this time was to actually finish reading Gronwald. So, since I was, I had read the speed modules very well, 
it was very easy for me to read Brown World at this point. I, you know, it took me forty days to completely finish Brown World at this point. So I think that is uh, that added to my preparation right now. And of course, I other textbook that I completely read was Park textbook of pediatric cardiology. So reading these te- two textbooks actually gave me the confidence that I need to go into the paper. Like. Uh, and then repeatedly i kept on doing the mcqs that are given the uh, speed app one thing i that i felt that i made a mistake last time was that i thought that medicine i will manage it does not happen like that because uh, i finished my md in june of 2021 and then after that i have been reading cardiology only so thinking that i'll manage medicine in a competitive exam that is not a, the right idea i feel this time i uh, read medicine i brushed up my medicine from what i had read during md i read my notes of md and i kept on doing the mcqs that are there in the speed app so then that kept on i kept on revising the medicine part also simultaneously apart from cardiology so that is why i think my preparation altogether was much better this time as compared to the last time and that is why i think i got the rank that i wanted that was the study plan during this time sir very very good doctor very good i'm really we are really impressed upon your sustained uh, uh, work within the field uh, where you're operating and same time you're able to decide what you want that's very important and what is your advice uh, to your friends or juniors or aspiring for dm cardiology said my first advice would be never settle for less you know what your dream is and you have to work towards it you know a lot of times it happens that something comes very easy to us but it does not mean what comes easy is the right thing to go perseverance is the key to do well in life so that is my primary uh, suggestion for all the juniors are preparing for dm cardiology of course we have to prepare well everybody will have a different mode of preparation we know what our strengths are what our weaknesses are work upon your weaknesses and play to your strengths that is the first and foremost advice and as far as uh, preparation is concerned yes speed app is very helpful very very helpful i have told you the previous time also like the transition from md curriculum to a dm curriculum is difficult it's difficult because what we read during md is only 20 to 30% of what is needed during dm not only for the entrance exam but when you are going into the dm curriculum at that, that time also you have to see patients and everything so you need to have a basic set of knowledge before going there so what the speed app and everything on the speed lectures helps us is makes a transition very easy because once you have gone through all the lectures dr azim is of course brilliant in how he teaches so once you have gone through the lectures it becomes very easy to further build upon by reading brown world or whatever textbook you are reading so i think that is a primary uh, that is a good way to proceed do all the speed modules keep on revising what you have read uh that is also important i feel revision is more important than just blindly building up on what you have read you keep on reading more and more you will not uh, remember a lot of things and then it will come back to you in the exam that okay i have forgotten this revision is the key multiple times you have to keep on revising and uh, uh go through the speed app keep on doing the mcqs uh, one important thing that i felt this time was that the exams are a bit more like previous year exams uh, the previous year papers have to be done repeatedly because the Thank questions you. come a lot from those repeats are yeah, as far as this paper was concerned i felt almost 50% of the paper was directly or indirectly from re, uh, previous year paper so that is also very important so i think this would be a good way to proceed with the preparation and of course do not settle for less never settle for less your dream is your dream you'll achieve your dream only when you work hard so that is the way to go very nice doctor very nice well said and um, how many questions did you attend this exam I attended seventy-eight questions, sir. Okay, very good. Almost close to eighty, and uh, and also we wish you all the best, all the success as a cardiologist and uh, and a great cardiologist in years to come, and your contribution mm-hmm. for both the department also for the patients is going to be immense and great. And I am also keep us posted uh, which institution you are going to finally <laughs> find, and uh, we will want to. definitely know where you are going to settle okay definitely and wish you all the best once again and best wishes to you and your family members friends and relatives and everyone thank you thank doctor. you so much. Thank, thank you, you so much.